What's up everybody, it's Rolia and I'm coming to you with a second video. This is gonna be like a little short story time for you guys or whatever. Um, okay, so a few days ago, um, there's this guy, we're gonna call him Tyrone. Shit, fuck it, Tyrone. <laughs> Tyrone, like most ladies have, is that guy that you just call up whenever you are horny and you want to have sex, I guess. Oh yeah, disclaimer, if you're not 18 years or older, please click off this video. Fine. <laughs> yeah, but Tyrone, um, the type of relationship we have going on, um, I am the top. And he is the bottom. If you don't know what that means, you can watch other videos and look it up. I feel like it's pretty explanatory in itself. Um, I'm the one on top and he is the one receiving, <laughs> if that makes sense. Don't judge me. And people that judge tops, especially women that judge tops, little do you know your boyfriend probably want to get smashed nine times out of ten. So guess what? He's gonna go to other places looking for it. If you don't do it, he's gonna go look for it. Like, trust and believe that. So before you judge me, honey, maybe you should be typing your boyfriend. Like, just saying, just a thought. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I don't know why people make it this big thing when trans girls are tops. Like, personally, I just feel like I don't give a fuck. Like. Everybody has the option to like what they like or to have a preference. Some people like light skin and they don't like dark skin. Some people only like dark skin, they don't like light skin. Some people like pizza, some people don't like it. Like, everybody has a preference, like, you know? So I just don't see why people try to ridicule, like, trans girls that like to top and that's, that like to use their piece. Like, I just don't see a problem with it. And it's my business anyway. And what I do in the bedroom does not affect you. Like, so, boom. Like, <laughs> but anyway, Tyrone usually comes over. And it happened the first time. I didn't really say anything about it. But I figured as time progressed, maybe the situation would change. But it didn't. Like, Tyrone is this cute boy that... It's athletic. He kind of got like a little football player body. Like he looked like he would be on the football team. He has a fade, which I like because I don't know. I'm tired of seeing niggas with dreads. <laughs> but yeah, he has like a fade. Um, he has a football body or whatever. He's pretty cute, athletic, and he likes the bottom. And he has a cute cake fit, so. <laughs> um, basically, y'all, like, tr to be honest, to be completely honest like this nigga walls is so fucking loose like it feels like walking into an open door like sorry y'all my loud ass roommates came in so i had to switch you know locations but anyway basically y'all like this nigga booty hole was so loose to the point where i'm just like he told me he never bought him before but i'm just like you had to buy him before because Yo pussy is too loose, girl. Like, no shame. Look, sorry to be explicit or graphic, but y'all know what it is, girl. I don't have to sugarcoat on my channel, girl. But yeah, girl, it was just loose and it was just stretched out, girl. Like, it just felt like she the type of nigga that had two dicks put inside her at one time. Like, not only that, y'all, like, she had an odor, like, he had an odor, like, and I was just like, I do not like that shit. Like, I like guys that are clean, like, you know what I mean? Like, not only do you have a or not only does he, not only did he fucking stink, y'all, but like, my dick, like, I couldn't feel anything. Like, there was no walls. Like, <laughs> this nigga literally had no walls. And it's just crazy that like, people make women out to be hoes and thoughts and stuff. Like, niggas can be too. Like. Clearly, that proves it. Like, for any of my trans women out there that tops or whatever, can you, like, testimony to this story? Like, have you ever been in a situation like that? Like, where you fucked a nigga and you was just like, damn, like, 
somebody been in this somebody been up in here before me that's all i'm gonna say like it feels like this nigga just got ran through right before he came to my motherfucking house like but yeah that was my little short story time for today um for the people that have something to say about me in this video for one i'm grown and for two i'm single and three i'm just living life and i can do what i want to do as i please <laughs> But um, let me know what you think in the comment down below. Uh, what type of story times do you want to, you know, just name some stuff down below that y'all want to see from me. Like, I'm going to start ordering some more hair soon and doing like little hair tutorials and stuff like that. Um, I don't really do hormone updates as much anymore because I barely take hormones. It's just my choice, my option. That's just my, personally what I choose. I just... Honestly, I don't mind being androgynous or looking a little masculine or whatever. It doesn't bother me. I know most other trans girls is to look as cunt as possible. Is to conceal their maleness so that you will never know they were born male or this or that. But personally, I don't give a fuck. I feel like it's about owning it. It's about owning your tea. Like, and that's just how I feel. Like... My goal of my transition wasn't to change who I am as a person. It was just to feel more comfortable in my body, if that makes sense. And hormones take a big toll on you mentally is what people don't talk about in their videos. Like, hormones can make you go crazy sometimes. Like, literally. Like, bad shit crazy. Like, it can make you feel self-conscious. It can make you feel like everybody's fucking staring at you all the time. Like, I don't know. Like, it just... I choose personally to just take a low dosage. That's what makes me happy, comfortable. So yeah, that's why um I don't do hormone updates anymore because I really don't moan like that. I feel like I'm at the point of my transition where I don't really have to. I've been moaning for like, I think like three years now. Like, so I've been moaning for like a long time. So yeah. <laughs> I feel like your femininity should come from within if you're truly a transgender person. Like, you shouldn't really need, like, a lot of moms like that. No shade. Like, I'm trying to figure out what else can I talk about before I end this. I'm trying to give y'all, I guess I can give y'all a life update. Y'all, I can't wait to get laser hair removal. Like, if you're in Atlanta and you know any laser hair spots for the low, let me know because. I want to get like my hair off of my face just because I feel like that's like the only thing in the way like I feel like I'll really be cunt like once that's gone but I feel like I look good now like you don't really notice it that much unless I don't shave it but as far as my love life girl you already know the same like people just waste your fucking time nothing but time wasters that's why I just enjoy being single and living the single life. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I want. I want to start modeling. I want to get into acting. I want to start on my clothing line. Like, it's a lot of stuff that I want to do that I have yet to do. So, just stay forward to that. Girl, my romance are so loud. But, um, yeah, I'm in this video. And, hey, see y'all.